back in the kitchen with the uh, Platter Talk guys, and we wanted to show you how the cucumber salsa ended up. Um, you can serve it with chips, or really nice way to serve it if you want to keep it healthy is just uh, on top of, you know, uh, squash right. or uh, some sort of veggie, cucumber. Yeah. cucumber um, really we're, nice. We're saving our guilt. So this is our healthy version. Now we can do something that we can feel good about having it's because we went well. It's not horrible for you. I think it's mostly addictive. Yeah, I think so too. Any of these party mixes are, they can be. <laughs> they really um, are. This is a fun one, uh, uh, interesting flavors. Tell us about uh, this one. Well, it, it's so simple, Amy, which usually is best, I found out. We call this Lemon Crunch Buddies, mm. and basically it features uh, some uh, a rice Chex uh, cereal mm -hmm. combination, okay. about seven cups, which I've got here, Okay. some white chocolate. White chocolate chips. And some butter. And some butter. Okay. Which I need to get in the microwave, but that's okay. Okay. So when you're microwaving white chocolate, I always get nervous about, or chocolate of any kind. Mm -hmm. Half power, you were saying? Half power. I would go 15 to 30 seconds, uh, a pop, uh, take it out, stir it up, and then, you know, look at it. Do not walk away from this. Yes. You know, some things you can yep. kind of walk away from. I wouldn't at all with this. And so. I've been a chocolate lover my whole life, and I recently learned from melting chocolate is that white chocolate will burn before dark chocolate. Yep. It's touchy. It really it, is. It is. So I like the idea of just checking it after every 15, 20 yep. seconds. You don't want to put it like three minutes and then, you know, So we like disappear. to go slow. Slow. And yeah, low. The other yes. thing yeah. is, uh, if you do get into the pinch where your chocolate is starting to maybe seize up a bit, mm -hmm. um, a little extra butter. Okay. Uh, stir a little butter into it, uh, sure. and that will potentially help you uh, get it back to the consistency that you can use it at. Good to know. Okay, so, so now what else? So, this, the so while he's doing that, yep. we've, we've got just a little bit of melt time okay. going sure. on. Sure. But I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about the recipe. Again, it, there's only three or four ingredients. I like that. And the, the funny thing is, is I don't care uh, what your age is, what your, uh, if you like snacks, if you don't like snacks. I haven't met anyone yet uh, who cannot stop eating this. Well, so. the interesting thing is the lemon. I wouldn't think of putting lemon in there. So are we doing juice or the zest or both? We're going to do both. Okay. And, and the great thing is if you don't like lemon, use orange. Ooh. Uh, go ahead, try some darker chocolate. Orange and chocolate are a classic uh, are. flavor combination. I, and, yeah, and I think you'll find that the lemon with the white chocolate, the powdered or confectioner sugar really, really works Ooh, nicely. Okay, so how's that melting over there? It's coming Getting along. There? That's okay, that's okay. So we got our Chex Mix. Should we start zesting some lemon? Yeah, that, that would be, actually we're gonna need to add a little bit of lemon uh, to that combination. Okay, Scott. to the white chocolate Correct. when that comes done, okay. Um, we're going to add about uh, one half of uh, the juice from uh, a lemon. Well, we're waiting for that then. Let's tell everybody about the website and how it got started. Well, uh, if, if you've not been to PlatterTalk.com, I, I hope that you'll uh, log on right now. It's just PlatterTalk.com. We're on social media all over the place, and we're really gaining a, uh, a very wide audience, and, and you know, part of which is from being with you, Amy. So we really appreciate uh, being, you know, given the opportunity to be here with you today. So you, you come up with the recipes. You betcha, and we love to have you. Um, and you, you know, simple, easy, different recipes. Uh, most of them are simple. Um, Scott and I come from very ba different backgrounds. He's a, a big uh, Detroit City boy, and I'm a, a, an old farm boy from the foot foothills of the Adirondacks in New York State. And uh, we, we both came from pretty good cooking stock, I think. Yeah. And so we mix it up. Uh, we've got a bunch of kids, and our, our kids are a big part of, of they're the biggest part of our life, and they're a big part of our Platter Talk uh, project. Sure. So they help us out. Um, we naturally cook for them just like you do, I'm sure. Right. And, and all parents do. <laughs> uh, we cook a lot. The boys eat a lot. And uh, so that's a little bit about what Platter they're Talk's your, about. They're your taste testers. And then, of course, yeah. you take the, the, photogra the, the pictures of the food. And, and that's just been something that I've enjoyed doing since um, I was knee high, let's yeah. say. Yeah. And cooking and a little bit of writing and talking to people about our food. It's, it's really a lot of fun. Very cool. All, All right. right. I think we find it takes its good old it time. It does take and its time. Our microwave time, isn't the, the quickest. So. Scotty, you don't want to okay. rush it. Yep. Yep. This looks lemon perfect, juice actually. Is. And the, the lemon juice is going to lend a little uh, softness to the overall combination. Okay. Scott, I'm going to put one more in there for you. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, this is all there is to the recipe. It's and just, oh, that lemon with the white mm -hmm. chocolate, the smell of it nice. is amazing. So uh, butter, 
white chocolate chips, lemon juice, and yep. then do we do any zest or? We, can we put will. Zest we'll in do that uh, in a minute. Okay. okay let's, right. We're gonna pour that this in to, here. And then. Okay. While you stir continuously. Now, if you can get a shot of this, um, the the chocolate is being evenly distributed on these little pieces of uh, cereal. Scotty, why don't you do me the honors and. We add about uh, two cups of powdered sugar on this. And you sift it kind of just you to You know, I do just to get the lumps out. Yeah. You know, plus it looks good. Keep going, Scott. Nice. And it, it does look like it's kind of a two-man, two-person job there. It to doesn't kind of have to be. It's a three-person job if you want to put your hand in there and try one. <laughs> or four. Uh, uh, at some time and then happens. the zest goes in kind of at the end. We yep. can start zesting it right now, uh, Amy. Yep, if I can do that. You just, um, do you then need to, like, you know, put it on a cookie sheet? or No, no. We, just, just, it's so ready to roll. Go, go ahead. Ahead. As it sits, uh, of course, the chocolate will uh, will harden a bit, but it's delicious when it's first done. Um, oh. It normally doesn't stick around very long, yum, yum. Um, if, as you can imagine. We're just that looks so good. All right, we're going to finish these up, and for more, go to plattertalk.com. Stick around. Coming up, I'm going to make apple witches. Really yum. fun snack, so don't go anywhere. Sounds we'll be delicious. back.